And you two worked on a movie um, that hasn't yet come out, but you had a transformational kind of experience through it all. Yeah, I mean, the Redemption. I'll talk about Redemption a little bit and talk about that. Yeah, so we, we worked on a film together called The Redemption of Henry Myers, and it's an 1890s Western, and it's a faith film and really friendly for family. We have There's two little kids in the film who are adorable and amazing, and um, I think when it does come out, whenever that is, I think people will really enjoy it. But yeah, we, we both had sort of an... Uh, an interesting moment on the film where Drew um, really c came to an understanding about his personal relationship with the mm -hmm. Lord um, through that film and through playing that character and then we were able to form um, this great business partnership together and, and talk about the kind of movies that we want to make together um, moving forward sort of based off of our experience on that film. Yeah, and, and she was a big part of me finding uh, my personal relationship with uh, God, in, in not just in the movie, but personally for me. Mm -hmm. um, there's a scene, there's a salvation scene, and, uh, and Aaron, you know, from Fireproof and everything, comes from the faith world very, mm -hmm. very deeply and very successful within it in her own right. Uh, and I come more from the mainstream side. I believed, but I just didn't, be didn't, didn't do the faith side of it. And uh, we were sitting by the fire one night, and I, I looked at her. I said, i got to ask you a question. I said, I'm confused about this, this scene. It's a salvation scene. It's supposed to be so truthful and raw and personal. I said, how do you find the truth in something like that when it's something at somebody else's words? And she said the most simplest thing that anybody could say to me. She goes, just find the truth. Just do what you said. You know? and, and that made me question, could I do it? Yeah. And so she saw, started the ball, and, and I started questioning if I could do it or not, and I went up to my room, and I rewrote it, and the next day I showed up and asked the directors and producer if I could do it this way, and they said, let's try it. And um, I did it for me. I didn't do it for anybody else. I did it for me, and it was the guidance that, uh, that Erin gave me and from her personal experience of life that allowed me the freedom to do it. And, and Redemption is a very special film for me, mm -hmm. you know, and, and for that. Yeah, well, we gave it a pretty positive review. But the other one that you were just in was The Ultimate Life, and that was the sequel to The Ultimate Gift, right? It was, yeah. And, and uh, that one was a very special one for me. And, and you know, we worked with uh, Michael Lannon Jr. was the director on that one. And uh, Real Works, Rick Eldridge, which did The Ultimate Gift, uh, did The Ultimate Life, and then uh, Jim Stovall, based off a novel of Jim Stovall. And, you know, I got to play the lead in it, and... It was a character that I related to very well. I grew up um, working since I was 12 years old, and I was very insecure in my own self. And, mm -hmm. and so when I decided that I was going to try to be successful, I chased it out with blinders on, you know, and I started just chasing money. And when I finally got to the point where I made money, I was unhappy. It wasn't. It didn't satisfy me, and, and the movie is about that. It's about uh, a young man, Red Stephen, was not going to accept being poor the rest of his life. He grew up chasing money. He fell in love. He had children. Everything that he wanted in life was there, but he pushed him to the side as he was chasing money. When he finally got to his goal, making a billion dollars, uh, he looked up, and no one was there. Yeah. And that made him realize that the the, the it's okay to have a dream. It's okay to chase something. But do not forget what's the most important thing around you is camaraderie and, and support.